Hello everyone, today's video is a January favourite. Can you believe we're in February? I can't. Can you believe that I'm late with this video? I can. I don't ever really have a lot of favourites when it comes to monthly favourites because I don't tend to try that many new things. Um, so they're never going to be hugely long videos for me but let's just get into it. Um, let's start off with the only two bits of skincare that I have and the rest is makeup. I've been struggling with spots this month so I've been using two things that I always go to when I've got problems with spots and they always really seem to help. So they are the Clinique uh, Anti Blemish Solutions Spot Clearing Gel and then I've got the Simple Anti Blemish Moisturiser and what I do is, well this is pretty self explanatory, you just like dab on your fingers and then dab it on the spot and then I do the same with this after I've used this. I don't put this all over my face, it's a bit too oil controlled for my face because I've got very dry skin um, so I just put this, dab this on the spot, it's quite a big glob, let it all sink in and it kind of just, it really really helps, I'd say probably takes about a couple of days off the longevity of your spot and it's quite cheap, I think it's £4. Do try and excuse my fringe. I had a different hairdresser this time and it was... Next up is this little um, smoky eye brush or smoky liner from Sephora. So you just get some eyeshadow and you put it underneath your eye and you've got your smoky eye which I've never been able to do because I don't have a brush anything like this. I've really been enjoying testing that out. Next up, oh, this is amazing. This is the Hourglass Modernist eyeshadow palette. I don't know if you can see that because the sunlight's not very good. This is... Can we just take a minute to just understand how amazing this is? This is £58. £58? £56. I think it was $58. They've just been released in the UK and I think I have to buy myself another one. These are so gorgeous. You look at that. Can I just point something out here? I mean, I just touched it, and there's not a lot of colour, but there is some colour on my hand there, and I literally tapped it. I have to buy myself another couple of these because they are so, so gorgeous. They're so pigmented. This has got five shadows in. I think most of them have got five shadows in, and I've already thought of so many different ways that I can use this. It is very pricey, but it is worth the money. My next favourite is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Perversion. I was going to say Persuasion. Perversion. This, I'm wearing this today. It looks like a liquid eyeliner because it's so, so pigmented. I mean, if we can just... I mean, I mean, come on. I think they're about £15. It's a lot of money for an eyeliner. But, and I know a lot of people say that the Rimmel um, Scandal Eyes are really close to this. Um, I've never actually tried the black one of that. I've tried the other colours. So I might have to try the black one because for now, this is amazing. And also, again, worth the money. Next is a mascara. It's another new purchase. It is um, the Tarte Gifted Mascara. One, the packaging already wins with me. Um, it's just really nice. It's... I can't really explain it. I really like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's it's as good as that, but not quite as goy outy. Does that make sense? Like it's not as dramatic as the Too Faced one. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind um, Eraser for Dark Circles. This is really really nice. Um, I know a lot of people will think like that's not very hygienic, but I'm the only one that's going to use this, and I don't get spots under my eyes. This is really really good. Um, I don't think I can get this particular shade in England. I'm going to have to have a proper proper look. But it's just so good, it's so easy to apply, you just like dab it on, blend it out with your ring finger, sorted. It's not the most amazing product in the world. You're not going to put it on and your bags are going to be completely gone, you're not going to look flawless. It's, it's not like that. Um, for some people it might be because for some people it might not need that much coverage, but it does make my under eye area look a lot better than it did before I used it. This is the one of the best things I've tried from the drugstore for under the eyes. Last but not least is 
my lipstick that I made at the Vibe Beauty Lip Lab. So this is my only like sort of colour that I made at the lip lab. I love it, I love wearing it. It's so, it just reminds me of my trip to New York and it's just, oh, it's just so nice. And I really, really like the Vibe Beauty lipsticks. And I think, and I didn't buy any more, I literally just got this one and a lip gloss, um, a random lip gloss from Sephora. So I think if I do go back to the States, um, I'm gonna have to be picking up some more of these. I've got two random favourites, I thought I'd throw those in here. I've got a TV show, which is called The Midwife, which I've never watched before. I caught it at work the other day during the break it was on, and I was like, this is amazing, this is a great show. And luckily it's on Netflix, so I've been watching it, I'm on like episode three, because they're quite long, they're hour long episodes. Um, yeah, I think I'm on episode three or four, and I'm really enjoying it. My next favourite is an app, which is... SimCity, build it. This has taken up my life. This is my city. Like, they've put a lot of effort into this. It's a bit annoying sometimes, like, I've got things and everything. It drains your battery. Drains your battery. So if you do download it, beware, beware, no, beware of that. But anyway, so that is everything. Sorry, it's a bit all over the place, people a bit higgledy piggledy. I'm trying to film before the sun goes down, as usual. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.